Did you know how cheaper and more efficient sodium ion batteries are than traditional lithium ion batteries? Understanding the benefits of sodium ion batteries, Chinese automotive company BYD is stepping up its game by building a new sodium ion battery facility in Suzhou with an investment of $1.4 billion. Sounds crazy, right? Well, that's what you can expect from Tesla's biggest rival in the electric vehicle industry. So, what is this shift all about? and how will it impact the industry? Let's find out. In my previous video, I shared how BYD overtook Tesla's position in the electric vehicle market. The Chinese giant has not only succeeded in surpassing Tesla in terms of EV volume, but has also established itself as the largest electric car maker globally. However, the story doesn't end there. In addition to its thriving EV business, BYD also wears the crown in another significant area, battery manufacturing. As a top global battery manufacturer, BYD continues to push the boundaries in battery technology, aiming for more efficient, affordable, and environmentally friendly options. The plans are to have an annual production capacity of 30 gigawatt hours at BYD's new sodium ion battery facility. This establishment intends to produce sodium ion batteries specifically designed for electric vehicles, focusing on micro vehicles and scooters. BYD is not alone on this daring journey. The company's subsidiary, Findream's Battery, has partnered with the tricycle giant Huaihai Group. The two companies signed an agreement on November 18th in Shenzhen to build the Suzhou Sodium Battery Plant. This collaboration aims to make Suzhou the hub of battery production for micro vehicles and scooters. According to the announcement, these types of electric vehicles are identified as the optimal users of sodium ion packs. This partnership could result in positive outcomes because it isn't the first time BYD and Huaihai Group have joined forces. Previously, in November 2022, they collaborated to construct a standard battery plant in Suzhou. The primary product of this facility is blade batteries, which utilize lithium iron phosphate or LFP chemistry. Together, the companies made a hefty investment of 10 billion yuan to make this project a reality. The groundwork began in January of the previous year, and the construction of this massive factory, spanning 310,000 square meters, is almost complete. Trial production is anticipated to commence by March 2024. This successful partnership provides a solid foundation for their current and future collaborations in the EV and battery manufacturing industry. Previously, rumors were circulating that the BYD Seagull would be the first vehicle off the production line to contain a sodium ion battery. These whispers sparked excitement in the EV industry, as such a development would have marked a significant milestone. However, when the car made its debut in April, it was equipped with a standard LFP blade battery from BYD, not the anticipated sodium ion battery. This switch seemed to put an end to the rumors, and BYD has stayed relatively silent on the subject since the launch. The company has not yet made any further comments or clarifications regarding the initial rumors or their future plans for sodium ion batteries in their EV range. If you want to watch my video on the BYD Seagull EV, Click the link in the description. So what are the possible benefits of the sodium ion batteries? While these batteries might not be the best fit for larger electric vehicles due to their lower energy density, they do hold promise in other areas. Specifically, they could become a preferred choice for lower-end, short-range vehicles. This is because such vehicles do not necessarily require high energy density, as their primary use does not involve long-distance travel. Additionally, sodium ion batteries could provide a viable solution for power grid energy storage. In this context, the size of the battery isn't a significant hindrance. Power grid storage requires the capability to store a substantial amount of energy rather than the compactness of the battery. Therefore, sodium ion batteries with their unique characteristics could meet this demand effectively, offering a feasible alternative to lithium batteries. According to Bloomberg NEF, adopting sodium batteries could significantly lessen the strain on lithium resources. Specifically, the projection suggests that by 2035, sodium could reduce the lithium demand by approximately 272,000 tons. This figure could increase to over 1 million tons in scenarios where lithium supply falls short of usage. In short, the advancement of sodium ion batteries could pave the way for a more sustainable and versatile energy storage landscape. As a result, it could accelerate the transition towards a cleaner and greener future. Sam Adam, who leads the battery materials sector at 
CRU Group Consultancy, offers a noteworthy perspective on the possible impact of sodium ion batteries on the lithium market. Adam believes sodium ion technology will have a role in optimizing the balance between lithium supply and demand. In his view, sodium ion batteries could mitigate the extreme volatility in lithium prices by providing an alternate choice for energy storage, especially where high energy density is not a priority. Sodium ion could moderate the demand for lithium and stabilize its market prices. The success of sodium ion batteries is based on enhancing the cycle life of these cells. That is, the number of times they can be charged and discharged before requiring replacement. On average, sodium cells currently boast a life cycle of about 5,000 cycles. This is actually impressive, but still falls short when compared with the most cost-effective lithium products that offer around 7,500 cycles. Bridging the gap between the life cycle of sodium ion and lithium ion batteries batteries is the main challenge. Duo Fu, an analyst at Ristad Energy, says that if this hurdle can be overcome, there could be a rise in the demand for sodium ion batteries. Currently, the sector of sodium-based cell production appears to be primarily under the influence of Chinese manufacturers. With a stronghold over the majority of lithium battery production, Chinese producers enjoy a competitive edge. This dominance stems from the scale of their operations, which subsequently allows for lower operations operational costs. Large-scale operations are key for reducing production costs. This is a significant advantage that Chinese manufacturers have over European and American competitors. This cost benefit enhances the competitive edge of Chinese manufacturers in the worldwide market. It makes it tough for other manufacturers to compete at the same level. So with BYD's shift to sodium ion production, the sector is likely to witness a significant change in the competitive landscape. This shift is expected to bring forth new opportunities for manufacturers, especially in terms of meeting the growing demand for energy storage solutions. This industry shift will also drive further research and development on sodium ion batteries, potentially improving their overall performance and cost effectiveness. Let me know in the comments section below what's your take on the potential of sodium ion batteries in the energy storage market. Do you think this step will make BYD a dominant player in the industry? Or will it open doors for other manufacturers to catch up? And what impact will this have on Tesla? If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Goodbye!